Hey everyone, it's Duncan from 4xTouring.com. I always preach <laughs> of how you need to constantly do regular maintenance on your 4B and its accessories. And I'll be honest with you, I try and do as much as of that as I possibly can. And um, But sometimes I miss out on certain things and that is keeping the winch uh, maintained. Now, this winch has been on a Dicerous for pretty much six years. It's a 12,000 pound winch. And um, thankfully I haven't used it much. I've probably three times at the most. Once was to pull myself out and twice to pull somebody else out. And I haven't used it all. I, I don't do any seriously crazy kind of terrain. I'm more into touring. So it's one of the most least used accessories to be very honest. You could. It, sometimes I feel this is a bit of an overkill considering the weight and everything else it adds. But at the same time, particularly because Johnny and I, we sometimes mostly do travel just ourselves, solo kind of trip, trips. It's kind of, uh, kind of you know, insurance to have in case we run into trouble. So in that case, you know, you know, it's good to have. Now, you need to regularly maintain these um, what i mean by that is don't keep it spooled up and then you know assume that when next time you have a problem and you need to use a winch whenever that may be um, it should be working don't take it for granted because they need to be spooled in and out the motor needs to turn a little bit uh, for it to stay in good condition and i've always tried to do it at least every six months but just before we came on this trip, I just checked my notes and it's nothing to do with the trip because this is not a route that needed um, uh, winching. <laughs> In fact, if you, you know, if you haven't seen our Sights and Sounds um, video series, go check it out. It's um, a new segment that we're trying out, so check it out. And also, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscription button and the notification bell because my channel is all about sharing my experiences of overlanding with the rest of the community. And this video is also just sharing information and at the same time trying to get back feedback from you because you might have more knowledge than I am, I have, and that helps me to grow as well. So anyway, I realized that I had not done maintenance on this in almost a year, even though I preach, it would have been in six months time. Um, so I thought, you know, perfect place, perfect weather today. I might as well try and do a little bit of maintaining on this, you know, spool it out completely and then spool it back in again a couple of times back and forth. And I thought I'll share it on video with you. So first of all, for any of you who have not used a winch before or have never had a winch before, you're thinking of having a winch. Uh, first of all, it's important to unlock it. And usually, you know, it'll be somewhere it's easy to access unlock it and then that helps you to pull it out. So once you have it on free spool, pull it out and pull it out full length. Now of course there's another way to do this instead of you know pulling it yourself you can use your winch controller and then just get the winch controller to uh, free, push it out rather than pull it in. That's another way that'll help. But I thought I'll just do it myself. Gives me a little bit of exercise as well. Now, once you've spooled it all out, next is to spool it back in again and that's where you need the winch to be running so you got the winch controller and uh, always start the engine because it sucks a lot of power out of your main battery or whichever battery you're getting the power source from and therefore keep the engine running so that it gets the charge now one way to do it is you know you could use the controller and spool it all back in but thing is you need to give it a bit of tension so that it spools properly otherwise it just gets all loose and tangled up inside so one way to do it well the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to get a johnny to help me with uh, she'll use the controller and i'll give it a little bit of tension now before that i need to go and start the motor so that it doesn't drain my battery
one more thing um, as just as it's all being spooled in don't stay in one place or don't keep the line in one place because what that happens is because the drum in the winch is about you know it's it's not it's not meant to be wound in one place you got to get it filled up the entire length of it so as it's being spooled in the it's a good idea to try and keep varying the position and you'll see what I'm talking about as I do this so keep watching and as you can see that it'll it'll spool evenly as possible throughout the entire length if you can see it yep throughout the entire length of the drum and give it a little bit of tension so that it goes in quite taut so I'm gonna do this a couple of times I've done it once I'll probably do about another two or three times I won't bore you with all that but um, it's important to do that because the motor the winch motor needs to turn you know a couple of times and then you know you can put it back and then do it again in six months time so let me do a few more and then I'll explain a few more details towards the end of the video so keep watching now what you can do is push it out Okay, so that got spooled in. I pulled it in and out several times and then I spooled it back in. Now, it's important to inspect and make sure that it's spooled in as evenly across the drum as possible. You probably won't get it as perfectly as it arrives from the factory, but it, it try and get it as evenly as possible so that it's not overloaded on one side. And checking the way I've done, I've, I've got it pretty pretty good and then keep it a little bit taut you don't have to make it really tight and and that's it you just got to do it every as regularly as you possibly can every six months is what I've always learned to do which doesn't happen and and by the way uh, my checklist that I go through with the vehicle and I try to stick to is available as a free download on the website so just go to 4xTouring.com and go to download section it's free if you'd like to uh, have that as um, you know some kind of a checklist for you um, so yeah I just thought I'd share that with you you know maintaining the um, the winch is very very important because the last thing you want and this happened to me many years ago um, in my previous one of my previous four-wheel drives where again for various reasons I just delayed and didn't do it and friends of mine calls me up and say hey let's go on an off-road trip we did got stuck and then guess what which didn't work <laughs> um, but thankfully we managed to get out anyways so hope you found this useful if you liked it please do give it a thumbs up if you got comments or even feedback that you know that might help me in better maintaining please do write as a comment below and if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscription button and the notification bell thanks for watching everyone